Okay, so Meghan Markle, back in the headlines. <laughs> but uh, this time it's business, not, well, you know. Right, right. Stepping away from the uh, the royal drama and into the, uh, the world of entrepreneurship. Exactly, and we're gonna do a deep dive into that today. But, uh, you know, it's not just about, you know, her throwing money around. There's actually a real philosophy behind her investments. Yeah, definitely. A lot of these celebrities, you know, they just kind of slap their name on a product. But it seems like um, Megan's really trying to do something different. And we've got a bunch of articles and interviews where she actually talks about her approach. So uh, we're going to really get into the nitty gritty. Yeah, sounds good. Let's dive in. So the latest buzz is all about this new investment she made. Highbrow Hippie, it's called. It's a... Um, hair care and wellness brand. I've heard of that. Isn't it like co-founded by her uh, her hairdresser or something? Yeah, her longtime colorist, Kadi Lee, and uh, Micah Harris. Okay, right. And the launch party, oh my goodness, talk about glamorous. I mean, LA, gospel choir, Megan dancing with her friends. Must have been quite the scene. But here's the thing. She, um, she gave everyone roses from her own garden in Montecito. Really? Wow, that's a, that's a nice touch. It is. And she even said in InStyle, um, something like, you know, it's about investing in my friend and a female founder. It's clear she really wants to support women-led businesses. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty common for celebrities to get involved in investments these days. But what Megan's doing, it does seem uh, more unique, you know, more intentional. Absolutely. And she actually has a name for her philosophy. She calls it the Dolphin Tank. The Dolphin Tank. Yeah. Kind of a play on, you know, Shark Tank, obviously. Well, I get it. But it's all about, like collaboration mm -hmm. not that cutthroat mentality you see so often in the business world right mutual growth working together exactly and she talked about this in a new york times interview you know creating friendly waters in business i love that phrase friendly waters yeah that's a good one it really highlights how she sees business relationships you know it's not just about the bottom line and she's putting her money where her mouth is so to speak i mean she's invested in clever blends you know those vegan lattes oh, yeah the ones that got that deal with target yes, that's the one yeah. and then there's sesta collective they make sustainable handbags sustainable handbags mm -hmm. made by women in rwanda oh wow okay that's pretty cool and there are like at least five or ten other brands she's backing yeah and it all kind of comes back to this this theme, you know, sustainability, female empowerment, ethical practices. She's clearly not just looking for any investment. It has to align with her values. Yeah, you can definitely see the pattern there. And it's not just about direct investments. It's also the way she uses her platform to, you know, shine a spotlight on smaller designers. Oh, right. Like when she wears their stuff for public appearances. Exactly. She actually said once, and I'm paraphrasing here, but something like, Simply wearing an earring can make a difference. Hmm, interesting. It shows she really gets the power of fashion, you know, as a tool for social change. Right. So she's not just like passively investing, she's actively using her influence to, you know, make a statement. Yeah, I mean, it's really interesting what she's doing. She's kind of rewriting the rules of, you know, celebrity entrepreneurship, and it seems like it's actually working. Like, Highbrow Hippie, I know Julia Roberts and Gwyneth Paltrow have endorsed it. They have, yeah. So that's got to be, you know, a direct result of her involvement, her influence. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's like she's using her uh, her royal background, but in a completely new way, you know, reinventing herself. Totally. And it does make you wonder, will this dolphin tank approach actually catch on, you know? Could it actually change the way business is done? That's the big question, right? It's, I mean, it's inspiring to see someone using their wealth and influence to create positive change. And it makes you think, you know, what can we do, even on a smaller scale, to be more collaborative and purpose-driven in our own ventures. So what do you think? Could Megan actually spark a larger shift toward a more, well, friendly business world? 